Hey, what's going on guys? Kitsune TCG here back with another video. Uh, and today we kind of got just another, you know, announcement for some support for a, you know, legacy archetype. Uh, now this is again in Dune, which is going to be the OCG's next course set coming out in April. Uh, so, you know, definitely kind of looking forward to a lot of these, you know, the Infernoble Knight cards yesterday or, you know, quite insane. I've definitely been testing that out and, you know, it's definitely got a lot of plays that are going to make that deck a very strong deck. But, you know, we got support for another fire archetype in this uh, set as well, and that is going to be for the Evil Light archetype. I got three cards instead of the seven, you know, we'll kind of have to see if maybe it's going to get any more, but these were the three that were revealed last night. Uh, so the first one was Evil Tile Forest. Uh, and now if this card is normal or special summoned, you can special summon one evil tile monster from your hand or graveyard in face down posi defense position. And during your main phase, you can set one evo force or evo instant directly from your deck. Really nice little effect. This definitely kind of does get one of your important cards uh, for the archetype, you know, pretty easily for you. And the fact that it sets it means it does kind of get around things like Ash Blossom. And finally, if a monster you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you contribute one reptile or dinosaur monster instead. So this is going to be, seems like a pretty good card for the evil tile um, archetype overall. I'm a really big fan of dinosaurs, but I've not really ever experimented too much with evil tile, so I'm not too familiar with its plays, but um, overall, you know, obviously being able to get one of the best cards in the deck, you know, on your field to kind of start your plays, is definitely going to be pretty good. Uh, from there, the Evil Zor Rios. This is a level four dinosaur monster. And this one is, if this card is normal or special summon, you can set one evolutionary bridge or Evo Singularity directly from your deck. Again, you know, another really great thing to kind of work around Ash Blossom that kind of gets you into some of your uh, important cards. Uh, and especially at not requiring it to have been uh, like special summon off of an evil light effect for this one is also a pretty good thing. Now where it does kind of struggle and this is going to be kind of requiring some testing to see how well this works out is normally so it says if this card was special summoned by a fire monsters effect. Now normally they the evils are uh, cards have all required to be you know special summon off of an evil light monster to gain the, any of these effects and you know things like the evo force were used to cheat them out and it says you know treat it as if it was special summoned by an evil light monster and that's those cards are obviously not going to work with this card so it'll definitely be interesting to see you know how this card is exactly used uh, it does also work on normal summon but you know Obviously, the point of this deck being an exceeds base deck, uh, you typically want to be able to, you know, special summon as many things as you can. So, don't know if this is going to be necessarily be your best, um, you know, card to be your normal summon, but I'll definitely have to kind of play test around and see. Uh, but the effect, you know, reads as long as you can meet those requirements is you can send one fire reptile or dinosaur monster from your deck to the graveyard and then make the type and level of two face up monsters on the field become the sent monsters. And this honestly is going to be pretty strong. I mean, especially with the Transcendric archetype coming out, um, and, you know, obviously we're going to get to the level, the rank six um, monster in a second. You need know, to be able to send like a level six dinosaur, make two of them level six, go into the new rank six, uh, and then, you know, I know some of those uh, Transcendrics like have or some like graveyard effects, so you probably be able to take advantage of that there. Uh, but yeah, overall, really strong card. Seems like it is a little bit more tied to the Evil Light archetype, but it does seem like it's going to have some, uh, you know, kind of generic ability and other kind of dinosaur builds. Uh, moving on to the Evil Czar Rash. Now this is a rank 6 Fire Dragon, just like every other of the Evil Czars. Now this one is a little bit different though in the sense that it is a generic um, exceeds. All the other ones have required dinosaur monsters to go into, you know, kind of really just kind of keeping them either generically dinosaur or, you know, generically in the evil tile archetype. This one being a generic rank 6 is interesting because you definitely see things like probably Bestials uh, incorporate this into the deck, you know, giving it them something just like an additional, you know, Omni Negate uh, because this card is... So your opponent cannot target this card 
with material with monster effects, you know, which is pretty good kind of protection. Uh, but it also has a Omni Negate, so when your opponent activates a card or effect, you can detach two material from this card and then target one face of card your opponent controls, negate its effects until the end of this turn. If all materials attach to this card are reptile and or dinosaur monsters, you can activate this effect by detaching one material instead of two. And honestly, this is really huge. Not only is it a negate, but it's a target one face of card your opponent controls to negate its effects. So even if your opponent is trying to chain block or you know anything like that, this is definitely going to allow you to pick which card you want. So it honestly is a really huge, it's, this is going to definitely be a really strong card in any deck that can, you know, kind of get out some level 6 monsters. And especially with dinosaurs being able, you know, it's not once per turn, at least as far as like the translation we see so far. So in a dinosaur or reptile build, you know, being able to use this twice in one turn is going to be really huge. So I can definitely see, you know, some dinosaur builds focusing on trying to get this card out as well, in addition to, you know, your kind of normal dinosaur setup, which... You know, definitely be really exciting to see how all of this turns out. But yeah, let me know down below what you think about these cards. I definitely think this is going to add quite a nice play to not only the Evilite archetype overall, but any particular dinosaur build. Again, because obviously the new Transcend Drakes are going to have some level 6 monsters. We're definitely going to see some overlap with this new Evolzar. So yeah, yep, I will uh, see you all next time. Thanks.